Welcome back, new video on how you guys can grind as much experience as you want and need for free without needing to wait for the XL candies to roll in or the rare candies or whatever. If you guys have a team that you want to level up quickly, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that very easily in Pokemon Legends Arceus right now. In the game, there's something called outbreaks and the outbreaks mean there's loads and loads of those Pokemon spawning for a certain amount of time, a certain Pokemon in particular. And the good thing about outbreaks is unlike all almost everything in the game, you can manipulate outbreaks. You can reset them in a sense. So by going to an area and then coming back to the village and going again and coming back to the village, every time you're going to have a chance at a new, uh, I suppose, new mass outbreak in each of the different areas. So I actually did this a few times and as you can see, I have a chancy outbreak in Coronet Highlands, which is one of the middle game areas you guys will need to get to before uh, you can do this. So I mean, obviously, the more areas you have, the better the chances of getting the Chansey or Blissey outbreaks, because also you can get Hapinis. They can spawn in multiple areas, guys, just keep in mind. Once you get there, you'll see on the map, you can see where the outbreak is happening. So let's go ahead and go over there, and let's start catching ourselves some Chanseys, and I'll show you guys what's going on with that. So Chansey, Blissey, and Hapini, they all give quite a little bit more experience than you'd normally get. Uh, so we're actually just over the thing here. So with the mass outbreak, it's really convenient. It's just really, really convenient to just catch them. And uh, there they all are. <laughs> I mean, yeah, normally you'd find like one or two maybe close by and that's it. I'm going to be using my jet balls here, which are like snipers. So it's really, really convenient. Uh, I was too far. I'm still too far away. That's kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, these guys can run away. So engaging them in battle is not recommended. If you can catch them from behind, that's great. Uh, you will get the additional catch bonus on them. So there's the mass outbreak we reported. So you just keep catching them. Look how much experience my team is getting. And they just respawn right before your very eyes, just like this. And like I said, guys, I'll just show you me uh, manipulating the, um, the mass outbreaks in a sec. This one's really far away. Uh, but I, look how much experience I just got. I didn't even look at my um, Weasel's level before this. But I bet it was a lot lower than what it is now. We're just getting tons of experience. This guy's so far. Why did he run away so far? Now just keep in mind, guys. You can only get so many from the mass outbreaks. But you can just go back and just do it again. Also, another good addition to this is also just beating the Alpha Chansey over and over again. Uh, if we can just catch that last chance, that'd be great. I think that's it. I think we got them all. That's literally it, but a massive... Yeah, the reported Pokemon seem to be gone. Massive, massive experience boost for all my Pokemon after having caught all of those. Uh, so let's have a look at the Alpha Chansey for you guys who want to just get more experience and XL candies too. But first, this is me manipulating the spawns. So as you guys saw, you saw the spawns that were there before. So let's go ahead and go back to the village now. All right, so we're coming back to the village. Now, let's just say you didn't get the chances the time you wanted. You just go back in and have a look at the map. And you can see there's new spawns. Now we got Riolu, which is great, dude. That's a hard Pokemon to come by sometimes. It's a really, really useful one. If you see that, go get it as soon as you can. But this isn't really what I want. So I'm just going to go to any area. It does not matter where. You have to go to somewhere. That's just the only thing. You will have to go into the area and then just come back out. And you'll just be able to reset the spawns again. So you're probably going to have to do a few times until you get something like Chansey or Blissey to get your experience grind. Let's go ahead and go back to the village again. And then I'll just show you one more time just to showcase the fact that these just change. These can be manipulated and changed just like this. The loading time is not that bad at all. So there we go. We Now we got Clefairy there. And now we got Turtwig over here. So that's really cool. Like you can get lots of Pokemon. This is a good way to hunt for Pokemon that you're looking for too, uh, if you're curious as well. You will, of course, be coming through this map a lot during your playthrough, but that's just a way to quick to quickly go through it and get your experience. Now, what about the Alpha Chansey? Well, the Alpha Chansey is in Cobalt Coastlands, so let's go ahead there. That's a lot earlier than uh, the other areas that I was just showing you there with the Riolu and the Chansey Outbreak. Of course, the Chansey Outbreak can probably happen anywhere, even here, possibly. Uh, because chances do spawn here in the wild, so it's a possibility. Anyway, we're going to go to the other camp in the Coastlands camp here, because the Alpha Chansey is all the way out of the way over here on this little island right behind the thing. So, actually, if you just go into a fight, you'll be able to kill it, and you'll get a ton of experience. You don't even have to catch it. I mean, catching it's fine. Catching is probably a little difficult, but we're just going to go ahead 
and fight it. And I'm just gonna kill it just to showcase what we get. And then you'll get the items as well as the experience. And the items are really valuable for just leveling up your Pokemon themselves. The XL candies and whatever. So hopefully I'll be able to get this now. Come on, great. We'll be able to knock it out here and you'll get to see the rewards. Well worthwhile doing this a few times. Now, these alpha Pokemon spawn again by resetting the town. Okay, so we didn't get any XL candies. That's kind of sad. But you did see how much experience we just got, so very useful. I guess it's just a chance at getting the XL candies, but it seems to be a pretty high chance because the number of time I've done this, I've all, I've gotten XL or M or large candies a lot. Anyway, guys, that is going to be your quick guide for how to gain experience quickly in this game. It's probably the easiest way to do it if you don't have the resources to just buy the candies and you aren't late in the game where you can just grind high-level Pokemon anyway and all that stuff. This will be really good for e early and medium middle game for any players who are out there looking to level up their Pokemon and their teams really quickly. Thanks for watching. Drop a sub and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Till then, guys. Bye!